there is a new membership plugin on the market. So what I'm going to do right now is to test it out and see if it is really good. Can it beat the old ones? Can it be better? Let's find out today in a minute. So I'm rushing home right now to the studio and see what this new plugin is made of. Installing Shore members is very easy. All you have to do is to go to the link I've provided in the video description below, purchase it, and then once you install it as a plugin, you get this entry called Shore Members. So let's see how easy this is to use. So if I click here on Shore Members, this now is going to show me the dashboard. Now look at how simple this is. This is amazing. So all you have to do now to create a membership level is to click on Add New Access Group. Now I just wish they just call this Membership Group. So over here, we're going to create a membership level. So I'm just gonna call this Mac Group. Next, I'm going to choose what content to protect. So if I click on this drop down, you notice that we have entire website. So you can protect the entire entire website. You also have other options here like protecting all the posts, all the categories, uh, all the category archives, uh, all pages, all products. Now notice that we have all products here. Now that is because I installed WooCommerce over here. Now when I scroll further down here, you're also going to notice other items. So you have Learn Dash courses. That's because I have Learn Dash installed. So Shore Members is very, very clever. It detects all the extra plugins that you've added to your website ready to protect it. And I really, really like this. So to make things very simple here, I am going to protect uh, all the posts on this site. So next, I'm going to come over here and let's say I had some posts to exclude. I can just click on this drop down here, provided obviously I know which post it is and exclude it from here, from being protected. Next, we also have this drip content. Now this drip content is very, very powerful because all the other plugins that I've used in the past are very difficult to set up this drip. Uh, this drip. So that's why I've never used drip on my website. So having it here where you can just choose your content, specify after how many days. So let's say you want to show this after after seven days. You can also choose here the specific time. So let's say this is gonna be two, uh, let's say 2 p.m. Now that's already set. You can also add, add drip content. So this one here could be after 14 days. So this is super, super powerful. Very, very easy to use. I really like that. And while we're on this page, we also have downloads. So you can actually protect your downloads from here. Now, I don't have anything here to protect, but this is where you'd go in and this will be under the Mac group. Also have something that's also very important here on the right. Now, the question is what happens if someone tries to access Mac group? What happens? What error message do they see? And that is set up over here to the right. Now, notice that everything that I'm doing here is on this actual page. I'm not clicking away from this page. Even for a beginner, it makes it very, very easy to set up. So over here, I can say, okay, I can add a redirect if I wanted to, if I've created a reader, a specific page for the error, or I can come over here and add a specific message. So let's say I just paste my message like that. I can also add my button text. So I've just said become a member. I can add my button URL here. So I can also enable the login button here for those who are uh, not logged in. So once I've set all this up, I can now say save access group. So now that I'm logged in, you can see that this is a blog post and this is very clear. I can see all the information here. So now I have incognito window open. So I'm just gonna paste the same URL of this blog post and let's see what happens. So there we go. You can see here we have our message and then it says become a member or log in. So this is really very, very simple. So if I click on login, it uh, creates this pop-up. I can log into the site. Very, very easy. And this will redirect me and I'll show you where the redirect is. So here where it says become a member, you can add your URL to the sales page, which means if you click here, it takes you to the sales page and that's where they become the member. So it's very, very easy to set up and I really like the simplicity of Shore members. Now, let's say you wanted to delete this. Now, trust me, this took me a bit of time while I was trying to work out how to delete a membership level. So I would come, I came over here and I was, couldn't see any options because normally you'd uh, have a check mark here and then an option here to delete. So eventually I found out where it is. So uh, let me just show you quickly what you can do if you want to delete your membership level. So if I click here on edit, here is where it is. You'll come over here to these three little dots here like that and then click on delete or you can just archive it. So that's how you delete it. Let's see what happens if I, if I were to start creating content on my website and I wanted to protect it. How would I do that? So let's add a brand new page here. Let's call this new page. Now, if I wanted to protect this page, it'll be crazy if I had to go back into the plugin and then 
select this page and all that, that will just take way too much time. So show members have really thought about this. So we have this little icon here. So if I click on it, here it's saying page is not restricted. So basically it's telling me what situation is with my page. Here I can go to all access groups and see all my uh, access groups, or I can create a new access group from here. So if I click new access group, notice that I'm still on the same page, right? This is really, really cool. So I can just say uh, new pages or new page since I called it new page. And then over here, protect uh, content. I can just say, okay, let me... So here again, you can see here specific pages, and then I can specify which page it is, and it's the new, new page. Here it is. So I can specifically protect this page, add my um, unauthorized access link, and pretty much my page is secured. This is really, really powerful, and I like the way that uh, it's simple. I don't have to click away from the page to set all this up. Now, there's also another option while I'm still on this page. If I come over here to this block, you notice that I can come over here now and restrict this block by clicking on this drop down. So I can say, show this block when user is in, then I can choose Mac group, right? So this will only show if users are in Mac group. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And I'm still on the same page. I haven't clicked away from this page. I really, really love what Show Members has done here. So you can imagine the possibilities that you have when you have to go in and choose what uh, access uh, can go to which block it is that you want to uh, restrict. So this also works with Elementor. Now, right now, I'm just using the normal block editor that, we, that comes with WordPress. Now, back here on the main dashboard of Show Members, I want to show you even more options. So if we come all the way to the top right here, we have this little icon. If you click on that, we have further settings. Now, you may be thinking this could be a massive page with so many options. Well, this is very, very simple. So first of all, you can see here it says display Show Members icon on Block Editor. This is what it was showing, and this was on, this was on Gutenberg. So what I'm really interested in here is the redirect rules. Now, this is very, very important. So what you want to do ahead of time is to create a page that people go to after they've logged in. So I've already gone ahead and created my, uh, my page. It's called Customer Dashboard. That is where they see all their information. And when they log out, you can also specify which page they should see when they log out. This could be perhaps a blog page or the latest blog, whatever it is. So this would have been another plugin that you'd have to install in order for you to get this feature. But Sure Members has uh, added this in the actual plugin. And I really, really like the fact that this is already baked in. No need for extra plugins. So everything that I've shown you right now is just me protecting pages, protecting content. But what if you want to add a payment gateway and then give access to whatever it is that you're protecting? So this is where Shortcut comes in. So I'm going to create a product here quickly. I'm going to say create a product. Let's give it a name. So the next step here is to add a price. So let's say this is going to be $99. Oh, before I forget, Shortcut is absolutely free. So the makers of Show Members are also behind Shortcut. Now, Shortcut is 100% free, so you can just go ahead in the uh, WordPress plugin repository and download it for free. All right, let's carry on. So over here, I'm going to say create price. And notice again how simple it is to create a product here. So I've, I've added that. Next, I'm going to come over here to integration. So I'm going to click on add new integration. So this is where you click uh, this drop down. And these are all the integrations. We have Learn Dash, we have Lift LMS, and so on. So all the way down here, we have Show Members. So if I click here on Show Members, I can now choose my access group. Now remember, we call this Mac Group. So I'm going to select that and add integration. I can also come over here and add an image. But pretty much, I am good here. I can save the product. Now, if I needed to add a new integration, I can just come back over here and maybe this time... It's a learn dash course. I can choose my course here. It's course A, add integration. So now I've given access to the membership and also the course for this price of $99. So you may be thinking, okay, so I've set this up. Where does this information go? So again, you should come over here to copy links. So this is where you have your uh, buy button shortcode. So you can just copy this and this is what you use to purchase it. 
And then over here, we also have the link itself. So if I copy the link here, you can see where this will take us. I'm gonna paste it like that. So it's up to you how you want to add uh, your payment option to your website. Now look how beautiful this is. This is just the link and we have our options here for, for a credit card. We have a summary here and it takes us to the checkout. So very clean, very simple. This is Surecart and this is how it connects with show members. But before we continue, I noticed something here. So if I click on add new integration, there's a few things that I are grayed out here. Look at that. So this is grayed out. I guess it's because it's not installed, because if it was installed, then it would show here. But I would have loved to see things like Fluent CRM here, because uh, for me, I bought the Lifetime membership. It's a fantastic product. And I would like to add email automation to my customers that buy either my course or my memberships. So that's one thing that I would have loved to see here. I'm not sure if that's going to be added later on or it's something that they don't intend to do just in case it needs to be baked into their own system. But anyway, let's move on because there's more options here. If I come over here to appearance, in fact, let me cancel here uh, and I go to my menus, guess what? Show members also have another trick up its sleeve. So let's say I want to show these links based on membership level. Guess what? I can do that. So let's say I have a shop on my website and I want only members to buy from that shop. If I click over here like that, notice what happens. Show menu when user is in, and then I can choose my membership level here. So I'm gonna call uh, this one here is, I think it's Mac group. So this is only going to show if the visitor or the user of my website is in Mac group. So this page here will not show. So once I've done that, I can now say, okay, save menu. And pretty much I am good. So this has been well thought out. I really, really like uh, the simplicity of this. And it also feels lightweight. You know, it is, there's no lag while I'm using this. Highly, highly recommended. In fact, I have a link in the video description below. If you wanna go ahead and check it out, go and check it out. I will be doing a lot more tutorials on this. Uh, so keep an eye on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification.